all right guys welcome back to another video so for the last hour or so i've been chasing around this little chick and here it is so it just disappeared under the barns over there because it's so little it can get up under them so i just kind of gave up on it i don't know if it got out of the brooder it looks a little too small to be in with the brooder chicks and there's no way you could get out. So I'm thinking a chicken hatched it, just one, and it got off the nest and now it's confused. So it's running around everywhere, but it was running everywhere. It's going across there, all around the pen. So I've been trying to catch it. <laughs> These ducks are the loudest thing. Everyone's over here in the shade. A bunch of them are in the hen house. I did dig them. A dust bath hole over there. Pretty big. So they can take dust baths because it's 90 degrees right now at the heat index of 96. So it's pretty warm. One of the hottest days so far. So we're going to feed the chickens and get their water cleaned up. Just filled that up yesterday. The ducks will get in there and swim. And hopefully we'll come by that chick. Because I have no idea who it goes or it's who it belongs to. Okay, I just saw the chick go in the hen house. However, it got in there. It got, okay. So it can fly a little bit. And it goes in that little spot right there. I try to block that spot off, but it looks like it didn't work. I found it. She thinks that that's her chick. Because she's the one that was in the brooder pen with those two chicks. And they just anonymously disappeared yesterday. So they haven't came back or anything. I don't know if something got them, which... I doubt it because it's all sealed off, but I got out and wandered off at night. But I haven't came back, so I put the broody hen back in the with the regular chickens. And then that chick walked by and she thought it was hers. I don't know. I might give it to one of the chickens if I catch it. Okay, I don't know about that chick. It might be bigger as these. I don't really know how I could get out of those little holes right there. But we got fresh food and water. Kind of sprinkled some more hay over it. Clean it up a little. But I feed the big hens now. These guys are getting along well though. Give Reggie and them their food. did take most of the red stars out because we're not going to um, get their eggs and incubate them yet. I'm going to wait till later in the summer to do that. They're hungry too. Got their food. Chick still hasn't came back. Not back in the hen house. I think that hen's still looking for it. We got one broody hen, and there's another one, another one, there's another one. So now she's helping me try to find it.
I'm going down here to the garden to see if my radishes are ready to harvest because it's been long enough for them. Here's the saplings I planted out here. Don't look like they're doing too well, but the soil right here is a lot more, has a lot more clay in it than I thought. Soil down where the garden is a lot better though. Well, first of all, the potatoes are doing great growing the best and the asparagus finally came up right there and right there and then the onions all down there and then the rest of the plants so I'm looking at these thinking they're radishes but now I think they may be carrots because carrots take a while longer than radishes I'm all new at this but I don't know, I've watched some videos and the stalks or the top things, the leaves and everything are a lot bigger on radishes and they should be ready in four weeks. And they don't look like radishes, so I'm guessing the radishes haven't came, didn't ever come up. And these are the carrots. But feel free to chime in in the comments. Because I'm not really sure. I'm going to watch another, more videos, I guess. But I guess these are young carrots or something. I even dug one up to see what the bottom looked like. It, but I know what everything else is. It's just not that. The squash. No watermelon yet. chick is out again and I know now that it is one of the brooder chicks because it has feathers and the newborn chicks would not have that so I guess they kind of piled up somehow it got out still working on catching it though that hen <laughs> and that was trying to hatch chicks really wants it Thinks it's hers. I'm just doing the waters right now. Looks like this pool's outlasted itself. There's a leak. I guess I can just go get another pool. I just bought that one. So they'd have three. They still take down all the water in about a day. So just go get another one. I've had this one probably for two years. So it's managed well. Well, this hen was just outside and it was laying down with the chick and with it under her wing. She's picking at the grass and it was eating it. So, but I did catch the chick and I put it in the brooder. So, finally caught it, but she tried to adopt the stray chick. She hears the chicks in the brooder. She goes crazy. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. Make sure to share the videos with your friends, and I'll see you next time.